kikubor ka bate si tv ka umdi basnyam bat pinjas liang umrupa premium meghalaya sophistication meets style the stylish trendsetter tata curve suv is in town india's first coupe suv is now in shillong net foodish or dharma phi nin wan ra mangi hakhr dob ying jong phi Hadian baka mendi pathar ka layo ya railway station u SP ka North Garo Hills u lapentip bakam shimla dan ka jingwan rung tu chongki bajla na mar ka jingklan ki bor pulet pen pek ngori ki nonglet nyongwan shapo ka district habakran mi lapthai ko bor u power swapnel vasantrao u de SP ka North Garo Hills district u rethu banadu po wan man shimti kum SP kampat shimla dan ka nu nu jing bunthot ya ka shong sok ka shong san Shushu SP Ray to Ru, ba what had the end Bakaladan, a railway station, a pocket district. Kajuan Runger Tap, Junky Mender, Kamshim Ladan, Namar Bakatnat, infiltration, Kapan Klein Bab and Pet Kimi, Yakin on Lake Inawan. Uh, in terms of law and order situation, the situation in the district is so far very peaceful. Uh, in recent past, we have not seen any incidents of uh, any law and order situation happening. So far, so good. But uh, as a proactive measure, on our part, we ensure regular patrolling, day times, night times. All the sensitive locations, especially border locations, are uh, regularly patrolled. There are police knockers to check, keep a check on illicit activities also. Uh, now that we have a long border with Assam and uh, the road movement is, uh, as we know, because of highways, it's a free movement. Uh, but we do have our Nakas and the cooperation between the bordering districts with Assam and ourselves is uh, quite good. And uh, both the sides have helped each other in tracking of the criminals. Uh, many arrests have been made, even for our cases in Assam jurisdiction and even for Assam from our jurisdiction. So. Uh, with the cooperation of the police on the other side of the border, we try to uh, apprehend the criminals. You know, border dispute as such here in this border area? Uh, ever since I have taken charge here, uh, no border disputes and no law and order issues out of border disputes have been noticed so far. Uh, on drugs issues, intelligence wise and otherwise, we are keeping a very close check and uh, NACAs are regularly active and we are monitoring for any uh, specific input if there is on drugs. Uh, but in recent past, <coughs> recent past uh, there were some uh, apprehensions of drugs. Uh, some cases were also registered and uh, drugs were seized. Uh, but in last uh, three months, there are no other cases of drugs that have been apprehended or caught. Uh, vehicle thefts was one issue that we faced recently, but now it is uh, quite under check. Apart from that, uh, we have uh, cases of minor thefts and uh, POXO cases. Rate as such, uh, I'm not, uh, I do not have the exact figures in front of me right now. Uh, but yes, for the district of this proportion, uh, the POXO cases are quite many in number. Is it because of lack of awareness or remote areas? One, it is because of lack of awareness. Uh, second, uh, it is also because of uh, increased reporting. Now that awareness in certain pockets, we are, we are organizing regular awareness programs with religious institutions, schools, colleges, especially uh, focusing on uh, girls, women and children. Uh, with that, with rising awareness, cases are also uh, being reported very freely. In, in terms of uh, education, uh, because the issue does not pertain to me, I would officially not be able to <coughs> say. So, as we know, this is the only place in Malaya which has a railway station. Uh, from uh, what we can see in the day-to-day -day lives of people, a uh, lot of small farmers, uh, small producers, uh, 
they do take their products from here to other larger markets uh, especially in uh, gwalpara side or guwahati side uh, and with the frequency and convenient timings of the trains they can travel with at a very cheaper cost to the other side and that uh, has become a good source of livelihood and a good source of opportunities in which people are earning and improving their lives in in general any border and uh, any transportation that goes across the state borders or international borders there is an obvious fear but however we have a system in place for that we have anti infiltration check gate also and police personnel deployed there who uh, keep very close check of the situation and any suspecting persons are checked for valid documents and if uh, not found uh, appropriate action is taken yes in a way we can say that because they were out for work as usual and uh, such incident had never happened earlier so this was a usual for the family chat to keep the kids at home let them play during the day time and attend to their work and during the similar routine this unfortunate incident happened that day uh so one unfortunate afternoon <coughs> the parents of uh, these two kids they were uh, out for some work and uh, there was a place which was under construction near their house so these kids uh, went out to play and uh, the under construction place was also unsupervised as the owner had also gone, gone out during the day time for some work uh, at that time unfortunately these two girls uh, slipped in the pit holes which were filled with water uh, once the parents came back and they don't they noticed the absence of these kids they along with the locality people they started searching for these girls and uh, during the search at the end uh, suspecting the pit holes also with Uh, expecting the worst they checked when they checked they found the bodies of these two girls which were drowned in those holes which were quite deep enough for the small kids to maneuver with uh, as far as uh, family uh, reports village reports and locality reports are concerned uh, it has been seen that there is no no foul play suspected or expected and based on our inquiry also we also did not suspect any foul play Uh, I do not remember the exact date of this incident now. It was supposedly fifth uh, of October, I believe. Yes, the bodies were buried. Yes, the funeral uh, took place as per the uh, traditions of the family. Yes, a police inquiry initially was done to get the pre- preliminary facts of the case, and after that, the report was submitted to the uh, deputy commissioner of the district, and uh, deputy commissioner sir has also in- uh, started an inquiry. In the-